Hey guys, it's Jean Ann. I am going to be talking today about my favorite makeup transitional products that take me from spring into summer. It is almost May here in Chicago and we are not in summer, but we did have uh, two gorgeous days this weekend where it was in the 60s and 70s and sunny and this week it's gonna get up to like the 80s and so I'm feeling inspired uh, I have been doing some gardening I've been digging in the dirt a little and I feel as if summer could be upon us shortly so in order to kind of live out my summer fantasy now Here's what I'm doing. The first thing I'm doing is I've switched my makeup routine to something that takes a lot less time to put on. Um, and that is sort of a relative term because I do tend to wear more makeup than maybe the average person. And so it does take me longer because I like to play with colors. I like to play, you know, with base, with whatever. I like to touch my products. I like to put them on my face. I like to mush them around. And um, it's fun. It's a creative outlet. But in the summer, the family is not having any of that. They're like, look, it's nice. Let's go. We're going to be outside. We're going to go to run some errands. We're going to go to the park, whatever. And so I think that kind of encapsulates that feeling of summer, though, that let's get going. In fact, Let's get going right on to some products right now. So here we go. This is from Alme, and it is called Smart Shade Mousse Makeup. Here's what it looks like. I discovered this um, about a week ago at the drugstore, and I kind of am in love with this. I'm surprised that I'm in love with it. First of all, here's what it looks like. Yes, it's actually, I don't know if you can tell, it's actually a silvery taupe color. It's very, very pale. In a way, it almost looks like frosting. Doesn't smell like frosting. So I wouldn't eat it. That's all I'm saying. But when it goes on to your face, it adjusts to your perfect color, whatever that is. You can. I'm wearing it right now. And I think it's great. And here's why. First of all, it's hard to mess it up. You, I mean, you can put on too much of it, so, you know, don't, like, use this in one application. But it really does color adjust. I don't know how. It's, like, magic. It's makeup magic. And it seems to really blend in well for me. And so it takes no time at all. It doesn't take a lot of blending. Just apply with my fingers, and pretty much I'm done. And it feels really light. I'm just touching it now to kind of get the texture. And it seems to dry not completely flat or not completely like into a powdery finish, but it's it's pretty lightweight and it's not super sticky. So this was on sale at I think CVS when I bought it, but this is a great deal. It's easy to buy because you don't have to know your exact shade to get the right base and that's usually my problem in drugstores. I can't figure out which which is the right shade. This shade by the way is called light medium. It covers a big range. There aren't a lot of shades. There's like three because you don't need to have a lot. It adjusts. So anyway. I like it. I think it looks really natural and I'm definitely going to be using this a lot. Super fast to apply and I kind of love it. So there's one thing. Another thing that I'm using is also by Elme, which is so weird because I can't, it's been like, I don't know, three or four years since I've even owned an Elme product and then all of a sudden in, in one week or two weeks I bought two of them. This one actually was on sale and I ended up getting it absolutely free because I had two coupons. Alme, I think it's called the eye color stick. I threw the packaging away. I use that all the time. I, then I can't remember what I've purchased, which is great. This one is for blue eyes. You can see there's brown here and a, there's a gold here. The brown is for high, uh, the brown's not for highlighting. Do you know how ridiculous I would look if I put this right by my eyebrows? The gold is for highlighting, the brown, brown is for the lid and the crease. Um, and also kind of as an eyeliner. And I am wearing it today. This is all I'm wearing today, these two colors. And I, okay, pretty much it's about as easy as it gets in terms of application. There's only, I mean, it goes on very creamy. It dries 
though, and it sets and it doesn't crease, it stays put, which is great. Uh, it's super quick. You pull out this stick, swipe some stuff on, blend it in, blend, put a little gold on, blend it in, done. Now that, of course, is not enough for me. I have to add something to it. So I went back over with a second coat right here in the crease, and then I used the uh, brown side to just draw a real uh, thicker line around my lashes, and then maybe a third of the corner of my of the outer part of my eye underneath. I'm sorry, but my allergies are killing me. Spring is kicking my booty. This took so little time, even with my added futzing. I love this. So I know they make, this is for blue eyes, they make several other little sticks. They are not expensive. You can find a sale, use a coupon, get it for free like I did, and I think I got it at Target, actually. It's great, it's very good. Okay, so on the lashes, I'm still using my uh, Volume Flash Max, the Max Bold Curves. Didn't see any reason to uh, change my mascara because I truly love it. This is by Rimmel. Very affordable. Also drugstore. I think almost everything in here, well most of the things in here are drugstore. Uh, and then I cover that with a coating of Lash Blast Fusion Water Resistant by, who is this, by Maybelline? I think. CoverGirl. Oh, why I said Maybelline. Anyway, this is water resistant, and for me, this works. I it doesn't it doesn't come down underneath my eye at all. The water resistance of this formula plus the other formula is enough to keep it from budging. If I were going to get sprayed in the face with water for some reason, I might then choose to use a waterproof mascara. But let me tell you something. First person that sprays me in the face with some water is going to have a much bigger problem to worry about than my mascara. So. I'm loving that. I'm going to continue using that. Uh, under my eyes, I am using the Brightening Peach Correction Concentrate from Pixie. Here's what this looks like. Now, I would not say it's super duper coverage. In fact, it's pretty light coverage. more Lighter maybe than I would um, normally use under my eyes. But it has a really pretty tone to it and it's color correcting. I don't know if it's going to show up peach. But anyway, the peach counteracts the dark circles under my eyes and it has enough of a, a kind of a lightening effect to it that it, here it is on my finger, that it sort of hides, reflects light away from underneath my eyes. It makes it look like I've slept. Can't really see it on the back of my hand that well. But it's a great product. It's uh, Pixie is not my favorite brand. I do have quite a few other things to test out. Uh, but this little gem is awesome. And I think it's about $15 at Target. Uh, Pixie does go on sale at Target too. So that's another um, potential. Now this is sad. This is so sad. And I think I've shown this before. But I, brought, I bought the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. Uh, it was on sale. I, I'm going to tell a lot about sales apparently. Um, and then I promptly dropped it. It's so sad. It's, um, yeah, it's kind of a mess now that I've done that, but I love this color. This is in Sunlight 21. This is the perfect, perfect color for me. It is uh, a lot like what I look like when I get tan. It does not have, if it's got orange in it, I don't see it. Um, and it is perfect for paler skin and is so, so awesome. I mean, I'm wearing it right now on my forehead and my cheeks. I'm also wearing some blush on my cheeks. And I think it just gives me a little bit of color, but it does not look like I took a big powder puff of bronzer and applied it. You know what I'm saying? I think you do. So I paired that with this tiny little container of Hot Mama. And this is, I use this as a blush and a highlighter um, made by The Balm, and it is gorgeous. It is um, an orangey, corally, goldy blush. And it looks, it's, it's not my favorite um, by itself. I like it in combination with a darker color. Uh, this is what it looks like just straight out of the box. 
And I, just looking at it in the camera, it doesn't look as attractive to me there as it does on my skin. Um, so I would just say don't be fooled because it's a great blush. It really is. It's, it's definitely to the peach and coral side, but it's perfect for summer. This is perfect. Look, she's at the tropics. I mean, how oh, that screams summer, doesn't it? All right. What else? Finally, the one thing I want to point out is I, you can kind of see, I'm wearing Coral Lip Gloss. And it is by Stila Cosmetics Lip Glaze. And the color is dun, 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 Open Road. Look at that. Gorgeous. Now, do not be alarmed. That uh, is a very bright color, but as you can see when you're wearing it, it is not, I mean, when you put it on, it is bright, so don't, don't be afraid, just blend it out. And I think it just gives a freshness and kind of a pop to your face. Um, pop to the face sounds like you just got punched. Anyway, I think it just gives you a little bit of greatness, a little bit of greatness on the faceness. Anyway, those are my favorite for summer, my favorite products for summer kickoff. I'm sure I'll have more as I go along. In fact, I know I will because I just got a Stila order in and I had kind of been off of Stila for a while and then I had this great deal and decided to buy a few things and try them and I'm really kind of loving them. So I'll have more on them in the future. Anyway, yeah, I think that's all. So thanks. Hope you're having a good spring and you're springing into summer. And remember in the summer, just go, go with something easy. Go with something light. Don't spend all your time indoors putting on makeup like me. Get out there, enjoy the sun and have fun. Bye.